my dear students in this lecture let us discuss how to, how to perform gcd or hcf of two numbers in gcd or in highest common factor what you are going to do is you are going to calculate the cofactors of two numbers and the factor should be the same in order to explain gcd of two numbers what i will be explaining is i will be explaining the logic so let me consider the two numbers 6 comma 2 your 6 will be having the two factors 1 is 2 and 3 your 2 will be having the factor only 2 so common factor is 2 or in other terms what i can tell is the common divide the, the common divisor is 2 this is 2 3 times are 6 and 2 1 times are 2 so your hcf or your gcd is 2 what is this symbol the symbol is mapped to what? There is no any mathematical operation in order to map the symbol. So what we are going to do is, in order to perform HCF or GCD of two numbers, we are going to make use of repetitive subtraction. And if you are going to, uh, if you want to calculate LCM of two numbers, what you are going to do is, you will be performing repetitive addition. This is one example. And the second example, what we can consider is, let me consider three comma nine. The common factors are 3, so 3 1 times are 3 and 3 threes are 9. Next, what you have to do is, you have to perform repetitive subtraction, that's the logic. And before do that, you have to check whether these two numbers are same or not. If these two numbers are not same, you have to perform repetitive subtraction. So. Let me consider one number is 6 and the other number is 2. Is 6 greater than 2? Yes. So what we have to do is we have, we have to suppress this number by this number, by another number. So you will be writing 6 minus 2 which is equals to 4. Here you are having 4, here you are having 2. Is 4 equals to 2? No, right? Is 4 greater than 2? Yes. If 4 is greater than 2, you have to perform the highest number minus lowest number that is 4 minus 2 which is equals to 2. Other, another number is 2. Is 2 equals to 2? Yes. At that time, you have to terminate and you have to display a message stating that GCD or HCF equals to 2. In this example, again you have to consider 3 and another number is 9. Is 3 equals to 9? No, right? Is 3 less than 9? Yes. At that time, 9 is larger. So what you have to do is you have to minimize this number. Then you have to lower the number by writing 9 minus the lowest number is 3 which is equal to 6. Retain the number as it is. Is 3 equal to 6? No, right? Is 3 less than 6? Yes. At that time 6 has to be reduced. The, quantum, the n2 value has to be reduced. So 6 minus what is this value? That is 3. 6 minus 3 equals to 3. And this value you have to retain as it is. Is 3 equal to 3? Yes. At that time, what you have to do is you have to display a suitable message stating that HCF equals to 3. And or you can uh, assign HCF to 3. In order to perform repetitive checking or unit checking uh, repetitively, so what is the the loop instruction you have to do, you can make use is you can make use of while instruction or while loop. While loop is similar to your if statement in your C program. So end while you write you will be writing. So in place of end while you can write it as go to again the compare instruction. And if is mapped to CMP, that's that is how you are going to compare your C program to modified algorithm. And from the modified algorithm, you will be writing your assembly level language program but in this program let us write directly next your program always will start with dot model small since i am going to make use of only one data segment and one code segment i can make use of small dot model small next again in this program i am not going to make use of any stack memory nothing but i am not going to perform push and pop operation or I'm not going to declare any of the macros, so I'll be directly writing it as dot stack. Next, 
declare the input and output variables in dot data. Let me consider two numbers. The first number I will consider it as n1 and n2. Here I will make the suitable assumption that I will perform a GCD of two numbers which is of 16 bit. So when it is of 16 bit, I have to write it as dw. And I have to write it as dw. And the value I can write it as 0002h. And this one I can write it as 0006h. You can duplicate this number with a register or with the variables a and b or if you don't want to duplicate, you can leave as it is and uh, the result I will be storing in hcf, hcf variable and that is also of dw and you can write one dip of 0 or you can write directly 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 h. Since you or one more method is you can put a question mark. Question mark indicates that you are not knowing how many variable means how many memory locations need to be allocated. Nothing but in the runtime you can allocate the variables. Right? Next. All the code, what do you want to write? Write it in your code segment. To invoke code segment, you will be writing dot code. Your program always starts with two instructions. In order to initialize data segments, you will be writing it as move ax comma at the rate of data and we will be writing move move anyone good move ds comma ax move ds comma ax next what we will be doing is next what we will be doing is you are going to move you are going to perform move operation and you are going to store this n1 variable in a hex register and you are going to store this n2 variable in dx register. So what is the instruction? Move a hex comma n1 move bx comma n2 move bx comma n2. What you are supposed to do is you are supposed to compare two numbers. What is the equivalent symbol in order to compare two numbers? In order to compare, you are going to make use of if statements in your C program. The similar statements are your compare. Means it can be mapped to compare instruction that is CMP in case of your assembly level language. So what is the thing you are going to compare? You are going to compare AX with BX register. If AX value equals to BX value, you are going to terminate directly and you will be displaying or you will be assigning HCF to either AX register or BX register. Nothing but AX value or BX values should be assigned to HCF. So what is the instruction to jump? Jump if equal, let me give some label as L0. If it is equal, go to label L0. In label L0, what you are going to do is, in your label L0, you will be, you'll be assigning either ax value or bx value to hcf so the instruction is move hcf comma ax move hcf comma ax or you can write even bx also able to follow last person able to follow good if it is equal then move to l naught suppose if ax is greater than bx or let us check for the condition if ax is greater than bx. So what is the instruction? If ax is greater than bx, perform branch operation to L1. That L1 you can write somewhere over here. If ax is less than bx means you have to execute all this instruction. So if ax is less than bx, what you have to do is you have to perform bx minus ax and the result should be stored in bx. So what is the instruction is subtract so we will be writing sum space bx comma ax if it is equal go to l0 if it is above above means ax is greater than bx go to l0 if it is below nothing but bx is greater so if you perform bx minus ax and the result will be stored in bx register next again what you what you have to do is you have to go to you have to go to l let me consider one more variable as L3. Once you have performed subtraction, you have to again check for the condition. Is AX equals to 0? So is AX equals to BX or not? Next. In, in place of L1, what you have to do is you have to write if it is above, 
What you have to do is you have to perform ax minus bx. So you will be writing subtract ax comma bx. You will be writing ax minus bx and the value will be assigned as ax. Assigned to ax register. Next. Once it is performed, you have to go to again, you have to go to label L3. So again, it will fetch up for the condition of whether ax equals to bx or not. If it is equal, it will come to this instruction. Nothing but jump if equal, go to L0. In label L0, what you have written is move hcf comma ax. You will be writing move hcf comma ax. What the instruction will be writing is move move hcf comma ax. Or you can write even bx also. This is the program. Now, in order to terminate the program, you will be writing move ah comma 4ch and one more instruction is int 21h and you will be writing end start that start you are going to write over here nothing but start is a label that label you are going to assign over here so in this in this program what is the logic means if first number is greater than the second number, then you have to perform first number minus second number and second number you have to read in as it is. And your microprocessor is a case insensitive, so you can write either capital AX or you can replace this capital AX with small AX also. And here we have taken HCF as capital, I have written in terms of capital letters, here we have written in terms of small letters. That doesn't make any change or that doesn't make any mistake. Uh, so thank you for uh, listening to my lecture on uh, HCF of two numbers. In the next lecture, let us discuss how to calculate or how to write a program for LCM of two numbers. Thank you.